Welcome everybody, this is Nightsaber Z42, and we're back with Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper. Anyways, this is the second time I've recorded this episode. The first time it was buggy as hell and I actually had a lot of slowdown, but that was because I had some background processes working. Yeah, I was actually moving my previously recorded episodes to the external hard drive and yeah, not fun. Anyways, I believe we needed to do this. Awesome. So, basically, another motive board. The, okay, a specimen for the sole purpose of study. In a medical university environment, students have easily have access to a number of specimens. Perhaps it was intended as a study specimen. I have little faith in that theory. Hardly anything was taken from the Box Row victim. Okay, black magic. How about that? No indication would suggest any type of ritual. Black magic? Watson, this line of investigation is far too vague. We don't have a single clue in support of such a motive. We can eliminate this hypothesis. What about cannibalism? Uh, dementia can push men to commit er incredibly vile acts. Holmes, what if it was cannibalism? Even if the idea is unbearable, uh, we can't ignore it as a possibility. What about trophy for the... Oh, wait. Yes. How about trophy? For this motive, it would have been easy to quickly remove something from the Bucks Row victim, Polly Nichols. A desire for some sort of morbid trophy. I'd be inclined to dismiss this motive. If this were the case, why would nothing have been removed from the Bucks Row victim? <clears throat> what about money to supply human organ trafficking? Money, quite simply. Even if this motive seems incongruous, we're in no position to deny or affirm it until we know whether a market for human organs exists. Okay, so that's also a yes. Yay! What emerges from these possible motives for having removed the uterus from the second victim is that they implied that the killer could have carried out the same thing on the Bucks Row victim, yet didn't. This brings us to a terrible conclusion. Our killer has evolved in the space of only a few days, and if that's the case, had he already struck before the first murder to which we attribute him? And if the killer strikes again, what atrocity awaits his next victim? We have to stop him, Holmes. We shall do our best. This recent business of jar filled with formalin and of the American doctor might be a lead. Watson, inquire among medical circles to ascertain if there is a black market for human organs. The chances are slim, but this must be pursued. Very well. What about you, Holmes? I will send word to Inspector Abiline regarding our recent... <laughs> I must get to the London hospital where my old university colleague works. Oh, I was about to say, we get to be a gas man. Except we control Dr. Watson. Anyways, uh, I guess since we're Dr. Watson, we get to go... Right here, London Hospital. Ah, John, you're there already. Punctual as always. Tell me, you don't seem to be in good shape. Is it possible that your recent marriage is making you this morose? <laughs> ah, you know me well, Andrew. No, it's a strange and terrible affair that concerns me. Have you read my note? Yes, I admit that I was surprised. It just so happens that I, too, was asking questions about our morgue. Hmm, how about the organ trafficking? What do you think? Have you heard of any organ trafficking within... No, no, John. No doubt there exists some exchange between colleagues. Not quite legal, of course, but nothing that can qualify as trafficking. Since the Anatomy Act of 1832, which permitted the use of unclaimed corpses for science, the black market trade was definitely halted. There are sufficient subjects available for all practitioners and students. Of this, I can confirm. What do you mean to say? Whole bodies are disappearing? Well, it's confidential, but I know of your discretion and your friendship with the famous Sherlock Holmes. I can tell you that a few corpses have recently disappeared from the hospital morgue. Cadavers that were intended for dissection. That is to say, not claimed. Poor, unknown people. If a single corpse had disappeared, it might have been a bad joke. There are many students who pass through here. It's even a meeting spot. For the majority prefer not to call the police. like to wait here for a few minutes. Feel free to look around the room while you wait. It'll bring back memories. Let's see. To carry out their experiments. That again. A set of scalpels. Are they all there? This surgical instrument resembles a screwdriver. How amusing. It might come in handy. I will return it later. 
What you're a for a dissection? Was someone doing some mechanical work here? Hmm. <laughs> These wheeled trolleys are very handy for laying out surgical instruments. Of course. Imagine if they could just float midair. Wait, what? What's this? The last lesson must have been about the human heart. And for a class of beginners, I expect, as this diagram is rather rudimentary. Huh. <laughs> it's the same diagram. All right, let's go. I have no reason to go here. What? What are we supposed to do? Wait, what? This wheel won't roll despite all of the added grease. Curious, as Holmes would say. Anything else of note? Oh, look at the heart. There is a heart in this jar. Based on its coloring, it hasn't been there long. And it looks like the drawing on the board. Mm -hmm. This jar contains two lids with combination locks. Uh, why? Why are we doing this? Can we use this? Oh, hey, this is document is proof. Okay. Um, what is this? Can I use that as proof? Um, yeah, I don't, I have no idea. Um, maybe we're missing something. Can I cut this? No, that'd be kind of weird if I could. Feel like maybe somebody should have uh, left their notes or something. Oh, why do I have my scalpel still out? Why is this scalpel still out? Actually, can I use it as a? I have no reason to go here. Can I use it as a screwdriver to break open the thingy? Let's see. There is a heart in this jar. This jar contains two lids with combination locks. Well, we can't do anything with this. Obviously, it's not that. So, what else can we... That was all that I... Had the encyclopedia. What about my notes? Well, I can't use notes as proof of anything. So there must obviously be something that I'm missing. Hmm. I am missing some information. Yeah, I can't even. Hmm. I am missing some information. I can't even twist and shout. Huh, okay. So let's uh, go back. This rag is. F Can I use the screwdriver to do that? A message. I'll be. Why the devil was it hidden here? The heck? Oh, okay. An um, old prescription. Poor child, so young yet terminally ill. Strange, someone scrawled something. Part of it is in Latin. These are instructions, it would seem. Oh, here we go. There's a heart in this jar. This jar contains two lids with combination locks. All right, let's get to it. We got the... This thing. Or prescription. Ooh. Possibly an imminent subject. Watch carefully. The vena cava superior, the vela aorta, the atrium sinistrum. The truncus pulmonalis. The magnet is in the heart. Use this board and erase it afterwards. The vena cover. 
superior. Hmm. Oh, okay. Venicaf superior is up here, which is of number one right here. So, oh, okay. So one, and then the Valva Aorta is with the red arrow. So the Valva Aorta is right here, which is number 10? Wait, 10's right there. Mm. Or maybe not. Is that not right? Well, I mean, there's two sets of numbers. I know that we have the blue one right. Look, there was a bit of paper stuck between the two lids. Huh, okay. Six. Oh, prescription from London Hospital. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Okay, there's a six. The atrium sinistrum is number eight. And that was a blue one. Which is that one. And the truncus pulmonalis is number two. Incredible. Someone has hidden a magnet in this heart. But to what end? I don't know. Let's take it. Find out. Alright, so we got a magnet. Oh boy. Ah, uh, uh, everything. Oh wait, there's a number. Yeah, there's a number. That means we can use a magnet on this. Yeah. Incredible. There is a magnet with a hook behind this pane of glass. I am in need of something. I got it right here, brother. Oh. Ooh, okay. It's a puzzle. It's a moving puzzle. So do we have to put the magnets together? Wait, what? What did I even touch? What do I do? Oh. I have to get, I have to get the uh, hook thingy on the into the hole. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? Apparently I was not right. Um Maybe I'm supposed to get the Oh, I can't do that. Nor can I do that. So maybe something has to go over to the cracked part of the glass. But that would also seem impossible because... If I try to do that, it's only gonna touch that part. Oh wait, something happened that time. There, all done. Holmes couldn't have done better himself. Okay, so that was weird. I bet you he could though. A hole. Ooh! I could make out something inside, but how to get it out? I will need a hook. Wait, we have the hook. We have Captain Hook right here. I found it. Another note. Hmm, a coded message. I do believe I will need Holmes. Quick, let's run away before the guy comes back. Here is the list, John. The missing corpses are those of a woman, 40 years old, beginning of August, another, 55 years old, two weeks ago, and recently, a young woman. These corpses had nothing in common except that they didn't have any apparent lesions. All of this is very troubling. Well, I think that I have all of the information possible, and I promise that I will do what I can to clear up this business. I must leave you, my friend, and... In the name of our friendship, please, don't cause a stare. To be sure. Thanks again, Andrew. It is I who must thank you, John. Don't forget to keep me up to date and say hello to your charming wife for me. Oh. Andrew. 
which Jack the Ripper is a student. I must go to the wasp's nest to find this rogue that Watson dubbed Bluto. He may be able to provide information on Dr. Tumblety. This lead, although tenuous, is... I must return to Whitechapel, but it would be better if I did so incognito. <gasps> oh, we get to do a disguise! And I'm Sherlock Holmes. We get to be a gas boy. Oh, let's see. Okay. No. Disguise is in in here. Let's see. Um, I think there's also a disguise. Oh, well, oh, let's put on that coat. This should do the trick. Ah, oh, look at that. Whoops, what am I doing? No mustache or anything? Oh, look at my weird run. Yeah, I'm gonna do this in first person. Just know that we have changed clothing. And let's make our way back to Whitechapel. To the bar. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Well, things are kind of coming together. Let's go to the wasp's nest. Whereas we can start predicting who the murderer is. What will it be? Hmm. I have nothing to ask. Okay. What about Oi, you? What will it be to drink, Gav? Nope. Okay, let's just knock on the door. There's something here. Really? I see wood. Hmm. There's something here. I need something. You need something? How about juice? I like juice. Should we add? Oh. Old Tom. Okay. Hmm. There's something here. Oh, I thought I we had it. Something. I thought we had it equipped. My bad. Oh, we have a pocket knife too. That'll make things nice for hmm. stabbing people. There's something here. I see a jewel. It's fallen between the floorboards. A jewel. Are we talking about this thing? Okay. One of these puzzles then. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is move. Not do that. Are we trying to get through there? I suppose so. Why on earth? I have no idea. Okay, so... Um... Spoon can't do anything. We can do... That. That won't move either. Some of this stuff just isn't moving. Ah, oh, there we go. Gotta get this into there. But I may have screwed it up already. We need this piece to go in there. Which that's not gonna happen. Because there's stuff blocking the way up here. And if we block that, then this wouldn't have to come up. So let's reset. At least now we know what to what we're going for. So we're gonna move this down. Uh, yeah, that won't move. And this moves. But not where we want it to. So really, we can move that up. We can move this over, move that down. We still can't move this. But I don't think we're allowed to move that piece is the problem. And so all that's left is... Well, no, that doesn't make sense. We have to move. Well, that wouldn't make sense because this would have to lift up so we can get this piece over. Oh. Okay. 
That comb is still in the way, but we can at least do this. Move this over, move that down, move that back, back. Up. I probably just screwed myself right there. Yeah, move that back. Move this over. That goes up. Spoon goes down. Comb goes down. Up. Side. Well, no. Because we would still need a path that goes all the way up. So move that to the side. This down. Look it down some more. So what's my goal? What do I need to do? Yep, can't move anything else. Oh, and I was for sure that we were so close. Okay. So I can only move these up and down. This one can move sideways, but there's not enough space to move it sideways to. Because if I did that, I would only be blocking that area. And I can't move this down because of that. So, let's reset. Up, up, over. Go move that down. Oh, actually, sorry. This can go back, back. That can go down. We'll move this right here. Move that. Boom, boom, spoon, spoon. Spoon, 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 spoon. Did I just screw up again? Maybe so, maybe not. Toms. Toms. To toms, toms. Ah. Uh, I need that right there. I need this. Yeah, I need this back over here. Move that. Uh, I guess it still wouldn't reach all the way down. Ah. Oh no. My goal is to get this piece right here over, which I can't do unless this is down here. There we go. Boom, boom. That over, down. Now we have a problem. A secondary problem. We'll have to move this all the way over. That won't fit. There we go. All that's left is to clear this piece aside, but we can't do that. So I'm moving that over. Oops, my bad. Move this. No, that's not gonna work. Cause comb is always going to be in the way. And this piece is always going to be in the way. So I would have needed this to have been all the way up top. Which would have meant this would have been down. And all the other pieces would have been not clear. So we need to figure something out. about this and that's not going to work either because that piece is being a douche unless I can get the boards to go under but the spoon is always going to be in the way if I do that so these have to be there it has to be down, or maybe not. I could pull it even further, move that out of the way. But the other pieces aren't going to move. 
So this comb has to be all the way down. I wonder... Uh-oh. I think I'm stuck. I think I am definitely stuck. No. Nope, not that. This needs to be... So we can move this down. Move these two up, down, down, to the side. This can go all the way down. The comb can go all the way up like that. And that can go back. And now we just need to figure something out uh, to getting the bottle up. But if we did that, then this would still be blocking. So this piece can only go up right there. And then there would be no way that this piece could be hmm. Okay, so we need to get this out of the way. Get the spoon, get start moving this up. But this would only work if this wasn't in the way. But the spoon is in the way. That's the problem. The spoon is going to be in the way. Uh oh. I think I done goofed again. We absolutely need this piece to be up. There's no doubt about it. But how to get it to go up? I do not know quite yet. And over. We would have to move this back. Move that up. Move the spoon back. Now we can start moving things back. Out. Except this is going to be in the way now. So if we can get this to go back down. But there lies our problem. It's going to be there. Not unless we do this. Yeah, that's not going to work, actually. Uh-oh. Well, I am actually going to go ahead and call this an episode because we're at the almost at the 30-minute mark. I'm going to contemplate on the puzzle, give it a try on my own, and then come back with a solution. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and check the description for my Facebook and Twitter information. I'm always looking for a few more friends. I will see you in the next video.